Hello and welcome to Alameda Free Libraries Maker Monday Milk Bottle Elephant Edition. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this adorable elephant from an empty milk bottle. We're going to need one of these. This is a gallon jug of milk. Emptied out, of course, rinsed out, and dried. We want to rinse that out with some water. No, no soap necessary for this. If you want to put a little soap, that's fine. Rinse it out with water. Dump out the water. Let it dry. And we need that top, so save the top too. You're going to start with one of these. I took off the label as best I could, but it's okay if the label does not come all the way off because we will be covering this elephant with tissue paper. So you will need a large sheet of gray or black tissue paper. This is the same kind of tissue paper you use for wrapping. I've cut the tissue paper into smaller pieces. When you unfold it, you'll have lines automatically on there. Cut along the lines to make a few large rectangles and then cut a few of those large rectangles into smaller ones. This again would be gray or black tissue paper for your elephant. Of course, if you want a more colorful elephant, you can use any color tissue paper you like. You're also going to need some pointy scissors. Please use these with caution. When we are cutting the milk bottle, it will be a little bit sharp and I will demonstrate when I'm cutting to show you how you can avoid getting your fingers near those edges that are sharp. So you'll need sharp scissors. You're going to need a yellow piece of scratch paper. This is just a piece of yellow origami paper. Any yellow piece of paper will do. On mine, I've gone ahead and drawn some toes and some heels and a very large half circle smile. That's gonna be my smile later. Here you'll notice it looks like a flower. That is for the top of my elephant. I've used the cap as a guide to draw a circle and then I've taken my pencil and gone around to just sort of make a little crown sort of shape there so he has a little hat. All right, so we're gonna need that and you'll cut those shapes out when you're ready so that you can decorate. We will also need some shredded green paper or Easter grass for our finished project or product. We will need some googly eyes. These are adhesive googly eyes, but either way, if they're sticky or not, you're going to need school glue to stick them on. You will also need some school glue to stick the paper onto the carton. You will need a Sharpie. This is a black Sharpie or any kind of black permanent marker, something dark that will show up, and a couple of blue markers. That's for coloring our white tissue paper. So again, you need one sheet of white and one sheet of gray or black tissue paper and some sequins. I've got some sequins here for my decorations once we are done. So I'm going to demonstrate first how to cut the water bottle. I'm oh, sorry, the milk bottle. So here's my milk bottle and I've gone ahead and drawn some shapes on here. They kind of look like doors. And why did I do a small shape and then a large shape? This is gonna be my trunk, but it's actually quite difficult to take your scissors and get this larger shape first. So I start with a small shape and I cut that out first and then I go on to the larger shapes. I've got another small one here on the side, on the back. This almost looks like Totoro. I've got a little squiggle and that's because this is the tail and that's what I want to end up with. Again, I've gone, a, gone small first so that then I can go big with my scissors. And one more little door here. So those are the marks that I've put on my milk bottle for my guides for cutting. When you cut, you'll take your sharp scissors and you'll start by just gently poking them in. And it's actually not hard to start a cut. Open your scissors a little, poke it in. There we go, it goes in quite easily. And notice how my other hand is up here. I'm keeping my hand away from any place that I cut. And remember, I like to cut on those small shapes first. That way I figure the smaller shape I have to start with easier to go bigger. Once you go bigger, you can't go smaller. So go for those small shapes first as you cut. Go ahead and cut that away. 
pull it away. Again, I'm keeping my fingers over here away from where I'm cutting, and I know this part is already kind of smooth, so it's safe for my fingers to be there. I've checked it out first. Now that I've done my small shape, I can go in with my large shape. And I'm cutting away just the parts that I don't want there. That's my tail. So you're just gonna cut around those shapes that you've already drawn on there as your guides. And once you are happy with the general shape of your elephant, once you've cut them out, there we go, there's my tail, you'll end up with, let's see, here's the trunk. You'll end up with a nice shape of your elephant that you can start decorating. Here's how I cut the trunk. So I've cut my larger shape, first my smaller shape, obviously. Then I've cut my larger shape all the way around, but I'm still left with the trunk. So here's how I'm gonna get my trunk. I'm gonna start, this one I'm gonna start bigger and then go smaller because I don't want to cut myself when I'm cutting away plastic. So we'll just kind of go around that shape there and cut away and then sort of cut around here. I'm cutting it in smaller increments and then I can go smaller if I want to. There we go, now I'm happier with his trunk. And there we go. Maybe I wanna go in and do a little reshaping over here, just so that I can really see that trunk when I'm done. All right, so once you're happy with your shape, it's time to start decorating. And this is where you will need the tissue paper. There we go, I'm ready to start decorating. All right, so to attach the tissue paper to the bottle, I start with the cap off, because it's okay if we go ahead and bring the paper all the way up to the cap. And I start with the leg. So I take one of the larger pieces of my gray or black tissue paper, and I apply glue to the tissue paper, not to the bottle. We're gonna apply the glue. Don't need much. And the wrinklier, wrinklier we get with the paper, the better, because elephants are wrinkly. I've got the glue on and I'll pick it up and I'm gonna start with the leg there. As you can see, I've already started with the others. I've put, started with this leg. I went over here to that leg. I've got this leg, so now we're gonna do this last leg here. And one large piece is really enough for the whole elephant. There we go, I'm just gonna kind of smooth it along as I go, but not too smooth, because remember, elephants are wrinkly. When we get into those little cutaway parts, we can tuck the paper right under. It gets a little messy on your fingers, so remember to wash your hands well when you're done. And I'll tuck around, here's my trunk. I'm gonna put it under my trunk and we'll do the trunk last. That'll get its own piece of tissue paper. There we go, all the way around. All right, he's almost covered. You can see I went almost all the way up to the cap there. I left my tail free too, so now we're gonna do the trunk and the tail. We need those smaller pieces of tissue paper. This one will be my trunk. Let's see, I'll go ahead and cut that little piece off. This can be my trunk and that can be my tail. So, I need the glue on there. Go messy, messy with the glue. And bring it all the way around the trunk there. There we go. Squish it in place. The glue kind of goes right through the tissue paper, so you don't have to worry about putting more glue. Just squish, and it will stick. And when it's dry, since you're using school glue, It'll be clear. And now let's do that last tail piece here. Need a little glue on my tissue paper. Glue on my tail. Squish it around. There we go, there's my tail. All right, so I think I have just one or two spots left to cover with the tissue paper. And then I'm ready to decorate. There we go, smooth it around. I'll go back in and fill in any little spots that I missed with smaller pieces of tissue paper. And then I can start decorating. So we'd take some glue and we'd stick that right there. And we will end up 
with a totally covered elephant that you can start decorating. This part is where you're gonna need the white tissue paper. So let's go ahead and get that white piece. I've already folded mine, so I'll unfold it. I've got kind of a larger piece here. Big rectangle that I folded into a smaller rectangle, a couple ways there. And I'll go ahead and color it with my marker. Messier the better, and I like a couple of different colors of blue. This is gonna look like water. So we'll go ahead and color it in. This is where you can scribble. You're allowed to scribble on this one. Take a lighter blue, sort of fill that in. There we go. And then we cut and squish. I'm just gonna cut stripes in there. All right, there we go. Strips, rather, I've got strips cut into it. Cut that one too. And then I will squish it from the middle. And I will put glue just on the top here. And the glue. Just a little bit more. And we're going to squish that right into the trunk. There we go. Push right on up in there. Fan it out. And now your elephant is blowing some water out of his trunk. You can cut out those shapes now that you had on your yellow paper. So you can go ahead and cut out the flower, cut out the toes, cut out that large smile. And if you want a skinny smile, you can start with a large piece. Use that as your guide. Cut away any pencil marks there. And then you can cut into it. And don't worry if your fingers are messy. The color from the paper is going to come off when you glue a little bit underneath, but it just makes it look more elephanty, so it doesn't matter. So you're gonna go ahead and glue on all your decorations. I still have some glue on there so I could use it. So we're gonna glue them all on. You may glue on some sequins to the milk bottle cap. You can cut out the circle and attach it to your elephant's hat there and put the cap back on. Stick on the eyes with some glue. And the very last, second to last step is to attach the green shredded paper or Easter grass with glue on the bottom of your elephant. To do that, you're actually gonna put the glue down here on the bottom. We didn't cut that bottom away so that he can actually stand up pretty well all on his own without support. I've got the glue on the inside there, and I'm just gonna stick the grass right in, or the shredded paper. If you don't have green shredded paper, then packing paper would look great too, because elephants often like to stand on hay or dirt, so they can uh, look like they're standing on something dirt covered rather than grass covered. There we go, my grass is in there. I'm ready to decorate the rest, and then I will have an adorable elephant. Once the glue has dried on the yellow paper, you'll notice how the tissue color bled through the paper a little bit, but I actually really liked that. So then I went, with, went in with my Sharpie and I made a few little details there on his toes and on his smile. And there you have an adorable milk bottle elephant. I hope you enjoy that craft. If you want some really fun books from the library about elephants, we've got a few great ones. We've got <clears throat> Elephant Joe, Brave Firefighter. We've got, oh, this one's in Spanish and I love it. This is Five Minutes Peace, one of my very favorite books of all time. Going upside down, there we go. Five Minutes Peace, Elephant Joe, Brave Firefighter, and of course, Little Elliot, Big City. Check out some great elephant books, make a milk bottle elephant, and have fun, and join us again for the next Maker Monday and all of the rest of our children's programming. Find us at alamedafree.org. Go to children's programming and children's activities, and you'll find all of our great online videos on our YouTube channel. Take care.